Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Python class. Today we are going to learn about how to validate the data using the library that is powerful Python library that is Pydantic. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So Pydantic is a powerful Python library designed for the data validation. So whenever you want to do the data validation, so we can use this library settings management and the data serialization. It leverages Python's type hints to define the expected structure and the format of your data, ensuring type safety, data integrity, and improved developer experience. So in that case, we are using this powerful Python library. So let's have a look of that one. So here we have the code. So here we are just validating the data. So whatever the data we have validate or whatever we have defined, so we are going to, on the behalf of it, we are going to validate the data right so copy this and go to the vs code so here we are going to create a new file which name is to be data validation dot py okay so here i'm going to paste this code and here we require py dentic module so let's open this let's word wrap this first okay here we go with this terminal let's install pip install okay this is done now we are going to run python 3 data validation dot py there is some error over here that is we have to install this one iso that is email validator so copy this and just paste it over here so install this package at the same time now we are going to run this python data validation dot py so what it says if name underscore this name is not defined where the name is not defined Give me a second. Why the name is not defined? So here you can see that I need to go with the flask name app. Is there? Data validation dot in module. If name equal equal to, I think maybe there is an issue in this one. The last one. If name equal equal to main, I need to define, right? So here we just scroll down. Okay, this is that one. Now we're going to run with this and this code is updated, right? Let's copy this link and let's do the data validation, right? Oh, sorry, just copy this. Copy, go to the postman and let's try to do the data validation. Is it? Validating the data or not? Let me start the serve. So here, let's start the server, right? So here we have go with this one, and let's. There is a URL validate. I guess validate hyphen. The URL is. Okay, so the, here we go with the URL that is validate user and that's a post request. Okay, so here we go with the post request and here we are going to validating the data. Data should be the user, name, email, age. That's important. Email, name, age. Let's add with email. So add anything that, anything, right? And age is there let's try to send it one validation error that the value uh, email address is not valid right so let's put the valid email address freshly 90 at the rate mailinator.com mailinator.com okay let's have a look and the user data validated successfully and it returned the data right 
so if i go with the name with some integer value then what will happen like suppose put the because it's a string if i'm going to pass the integer something went wrong should be there right one validation error input should be a valid string so it should be a string right so then it's gonna be validated right so let's dive into the code level how we are going to do that so here import flask from the flask and the request and the jsonify then we are using the import from the pydentic that is base model email string positive event and validation error okay so here we have a class user base model so here represents a user model with validated data types so name that should be default value provided if you want to change you can change email string ensures the valid email format age positive int guarantees the positive integer value should be there if you do the negative then it will show me the error so if i do with this one negative then it input should be greater than zero right so it's negative right so that's the thing guarantees the positive integer value is active true that is default true for the boolean country string or by default is to be a null optional right so next we have at the red class method custom validation logic optional so here we have validating the name that the length should be great uh, if that this is less than three then name should be at least three characters long and return the value so here we have the validate route user so here we have a post request so here we are validating the data so request the json request and here you can see that we have a class okay so where we require the name should be string email should be email string positive this one okay and all the data that we have to send it over here with the asterisks right so return message that if the it is validated then we are showing the message that the users validated and return the user dot dictionary okay and except the, if there is something went wrong with that one validation error then you can go with the validation error and uh, return the error with the string length this and the last that uh, there is a app part that to be run okay after doing this we are successfully able to validate our data or data validation using the pydentic python package and it's very much popular on that so you can use that one for the validating the data yeah so any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day